Bees declared to be the most important living being on Earth. Hello and welcome to Knowledge TV Facts. If you're new to my channel, please do hit that subscribe button and the notification bell, so you'll be notified once we have new videos. Thank you. We may have our own opinions as to what is important in life but when it comes to important creatures, it seems as if bees have the title sewn up. The bees have been declared the most important living beings on this planet, the Earthwatch Institute concluded in the last meeting of the Royal Geographical Society of London. However, according to wildlife experts and scientists, the bees have joined the endangered species long list. The recent studies show a dramatic decline of the bees number as almost 90% of the bee population has disappeared in the last few years. The uncontrolled use of pesticides, deforestation or lack of flowers are the main reasons for their extinction. However, why would such a little being be named the most important creature on Earth? Well, the answer is actually more simple than you ever thought. 70% of the world's agriculture depends exclusively on bees. Needless to mention the pollination is the bee's job, although the plants would not be able to reproduce, therefore the fauna would have been gone in a very short time. More than that, a study conducted by the Apiculture Entrepreneurship Center of the Universidad Mayor and the Apiculture Corporation of Chile with the support of the Foundation for Agrarian Innovation concluded that the bees are the only living being who does not carry any type of pathogen. After all, Albert Einstein's say about bees has never been truer. If the bees disappear, humans would have four years to live, the famous physicist said. No bees, no fertilization, no plants, no animals, no human beings. Since the bees' importance is crucial in our planet's ecosystems and they've also been declared an endangered species, we really need to be as careful as possible on the matter. And we need to act quickly as we still have some solutions. Neonicotinoids are a group of insecticides used widely on farms and in urban landscapes. They are absorbed by plants and can be present in pollen and nectar, making them toxic to bees. Several years ago there was uncertainty about the impact these insecticides were having on bees. Research published since then clearly shows how neonicotinoids are killing bees or changing their behaviors. Activists are now saying that the use of pesticides needs to be stopped immediately and we need to look to more natural agricultural alternatives as we keep a close eye on the health and welfare of bees. Greenpeace also weighed in on the situation, saying it is possible to use common sense actions to restore and protect bees around the world. This would include eliminating the seven most dangerous pesticides, restoring ecological agriculture and preserving wild habitat to protect the health of pollinators. In other words, ecological farming is important for the preservation of bee habitats. It would require diversifying the ecosystem and avoiding monocrops. In addition to saving the health of bees, it can also restore soil nutrients through the use of natural composting, limit wind and water erosion and eliminate the use of chemical fertilizers and pesticides. When these factors are put into place, bee populations will be restored and pollination will be improved, along with crop yields. Lately, people started to realize the importance of the bees and many animal rights groups are trying their best for the conservation of the species. Many celebrities have also joined the cause. And maybe the most wonderful example is Morgan Freeman. Recently the Hollywood star transformed his huge 124 acres land in Mississippi, into a bee sanctuary, in order to protect the species. Thank you so much for watching, if you like this video. Give us a thumbs up. And subscribe to Knowledge TV Facts for more interesting videos.